Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. As we are getting into the warmer months, it is time to talk about summer outfits. And one thing I haven't talked about a lot is shorts. So I thought today I'm going to do an entire video based on how to style shorts, um, especially shorts in like a girly, feminine, elegant way. Um, because I know that we love to wear like skirts and dresses, but to be honest, sometimes we do have occasions or days where it's just not as warm, where we don't really want or can wear um, or beautiful summer dresses or flouncy skirts and then shorts are a really really good option but today I'm going to show you how to build outfits around it we're going to talk about tops shoes bags basically everything accessories and basically just an entire guide of how you can build outfits around shorts. I have different types of shorts to show you and I've built some gorgeous summer outfits all around these so let's jump right in. If you are new to my channel today then I am Anna and I post fashion videos every Monday and mostly also on Fridays so if you enjoy videos like that then make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and if you generally enjoy and appreciate fashion inspiration then make sure you're also following me on Instagram because that's basically where I post all of my outfits every single day and I think you can get a lot more inspiration from there. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this very simple and basic way to wear shorts and I've decided to pair some denim shorts. Um, now usually I wear a lot of flouncy like bottoms and linen shorts but I think denim shorts are the kind of thing that are like a staple and that probably most of you have. So I decided to start out with these and these ones I got from Zara. I had that in my recent haul and they are these kind of mom fit style shorts which I really like because they sit a bit wider. They don't feel restricting or anything um, and I hate it if they're like super cropped and tiny and you feel like your bum is on show. I like them to be a bit more loose. And the thing I like about denim shorts is that you can wear them with these very cute um, little peplum tops um, because I feel like they often don't really go with skirts because they just kind of sit on top and it looks a bit weird. But I love the way that these look with shorts. So I think that is a perfect combination. It's so timeless and classic. It's a perfect summer outfit. You have denim, you have white broidery, and I think this look is never ever gonna go out of style. And I just completely love this and I think this is one of those you know safe options so this top um, has these like beautiful bow details on the shoulder parts which I really like because that just gives it a much more feminine touch and all in all together I think it works really well I got this one from Asus um, it's already I think a year old or so um, so I don't know if you could still get it but there might still be a chance and if not they have a very similar one um, that I'm gonna leave linked down below and then I just paired this with like some straw accessories. So first of all the shoes, they're like these white um, flats as drills. And I really like these because these are like kind of the shoes that I always choose in summer if I'm like out for an entire day or if I'm going to the beach or if I really don't want to wear heels because I know sandals are beautiful and heels, but sometimes I just prefer like the comfort of flats. And I think this outfit just, Screams comfort, screams effortless, and I just really, really like it. And then I've paired this with my gorgeous little basket bag because this is also a bag that I think is perfect for like a day out. It is so roomy, so spacious. You can take a lot of things with you. I got this one for my birthday, so if you have seen my what I got for my birthday video, then you know the story of the bag already. But basically, a friend of a friend started her own business during lockdown, and she makes these personalized basket bags. Um, and this one obviously has my initials on it, and it's in a like blush pink color, and I love this so much. So you can DM her. Um, I'm gonna leave her Instagram link down below, and ask whether she will be shipping to you or not but she does the most beautiful bags um, and I really really like these ones and you can even get your own colors matched at least <laughs> this color was matched for me so yeah I really like this outfit and I think overall you're yeah, very very good to go with this for like any occasion Okay, 
Okay, sticking with the denim shorts a bit longer, I decided to pop on a linen shirt now because I think linen shirts are like the go-to top combination for these types of shorts but also for a lot of different shorts. I think linen shirts are like an essential in summer and if you don't have like a good old basic linen shirt then you should definitely get yourself one. This one is from H&M, it's super old but it still looks absolutely fabulous. I do have to iron it every single now and then um, because it does get quite creased but other than that this shirt is probably like 10 years old already. This, this I think might still be from the kids department. It's super super old but that just proves how timeless and versatile it is and especially if you like tie it up and you know you have a bit of tummy on show then I absolutely adore this. I think this look is so classic. This could have easily been like a 90s outfit. I've added a belt um, to the shorts just because I think it kind of looks nice how it breaks it up and you have like a bit more of detail to look at. And then I have decided to match it with some brown flats. These ones are from June. Um, they're kind of like the Hermes uh, sandal dupe. And I really like this outfit. I think it looks a bit retro, a bit like vintage chic. But I think there is no time period that an outfit like this wasn't in style. And yeah, with this little straw bag again, you could go with any other bag because it's still really the most basic outfit. But I really like it. It's very like easy to wear in summer. It's nice and breathable. What more could you ask for? Okay, so sticking with linen shirts a bit longer, I decided to show you a different option. And this one is like a baby pink, almost bobby, cotton candy kind of style. It looks so, so cool. It's just like gorgeous pink color. I really, really love it. This one is from Zara. I think I bought this last year and I have worn this so, so many times. I've shown you a very similar kind of style top that is like a crop top that already has like the knot detail which is the exact same fabric out of the current collection i'm going to leave that link down below because this just goes as well with this outfit if not even a bit better maybe but i think this is absolutely gorgeous and i love to wear pink with white so i decided to pop on these white shorts these are like my new favorite shorts they're from mango and they're these proper linen shorts so we have an entire linen outfit so this is perfect for all those like super hot days where you don't really want to have anything on your body like no fabric clinging but you also don't like want to expose yourself to the sun and have your entire skin on show so this is an outfit i would wear on those kind of days um i've decided to wear this with like this big basket bag again this one I don't even remember where I got this one, but I'm going to leave one link down below. This is like the perfect bag to take with you um, if you go to run errands, which I think you could probably perfectly do in this outfit. This is like the perfect running errands, going to the market, going to the farmer's market kind of style outfit and I absolutely love it. Um, I've decided to make it a bit more dressy, but you don't have to do that. But I decided to pair with some wedges. These ones are some white um, wedges that also have like this wicker detailing. Um, and I just think this is like such a nice detailing to make it even more feminine because it's quite girly already with like the pink and white and the broidery and the linen. I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous and it works really well together. Okay, so I think you can tell by now that wicker and basket bags are probably my favorite bags to wear uh, when it comes to pairing shorts and generally in summer. I just find them so good and convenient and again we're going out for a lot of picnics and bike rides and you just have so much space to put all your things so I really really like these and they look so expensive and they are just really really affordable. So. They're like my proper number one style hack when it comes to summer. So that's why you see them in a lot of outfits. But don't worry, I have different options coming. So I decided to pair these linen shorts again. And chances are you might have already seen this outfit. But this is like my uniform for summer. This is how you'll catch me 90% of the times. Because I love linen shorts. I love these like um, shorts that are like a bit white that stick out a bit um, that maybe look a bit oversized but I just love these they are so nice and comfy and I find they look really really elegant as well um, so yeah I have decided to pair with a crop top which is what I do 
honestly most of the times I just love this like silhouette where you have this sticking out at the bottom matching like your balloon sleeves um, because you know it just gives it a bit of puffiness but also it looks kind of sexy because you have this like corset style and then you also have a bit of tummy on show and I absolutely love this um, I'm totally here for it you could also of course do that with like a shirt that um, covers up your tummy if you're more comfortable with that but personally if I have my tummy on show this is the combination of how I like to do it the most because there's not a lot of skin exposed and you have like this really flattering section of your tummy exposed because this is the area where your waist is the smallest so it's gonna look most flattering where it, whereas with a lot of like high-rise jeans um, they might only come up a bit higher than your belly button uh, and sometimes it's just not that comfortable um, so I think this is the best way to do it and again I have decided to pair this with like my brown slides because it's like that carefree summer style I absolutely love it it goes perfectly with the back and yeah this is probably my favorite outfit because it's like so convenient and easy to wear yet it looks really chic expensive and elegant and again we have proper linen matching so very nice and breathable Okay, next up I have this gorgeous little outfit and this again is one of my favorite ones and I desperately wanted to show you this one because cream and brown is my favorite combination out of all time and I think a lot of the times we wear this one in autumn but I think it works so well for summer too. So this set of shorts is probably my oldest pair of shorts that I have in my collection and still they are just absolutely perfect and I think they are still in stock or like they are like in a new version but they do these every single year. This one is from H&M and they are these like paperback kind of style shorts and um, this little bow that you tie. They are so comfortable to wear. I wear them every single year and they are probably like my favorite pair of shorts. Um, I just absolutely adore these. They look always good and you can wear them with like a smart blouse and make it off duty, office appropriate. Like not really office but you know what I mean like more smart and more put together and like this you can wear like going out with the girls, going out with your boyfriend. Um, I think it's the perfect like little outfit. So the top is like this gorgeous like brown top from Mango and I got this one in my Mango haul and I cannot wait to wear this one outside. This is probably one of the favorite things I bought this season um, because it just looks so flattering um, but it, it's still very simple like it's not too much it's like subtly um, special because there are a lot of details you can look at but at the same time it's really like a plain brown top I just love this like neckline cut right here and this little bit of tummy on show I love the ruffles and the ruching I just think it goes really really well and then I have decided to pair this with some brown accessories so first of all this brown um, leather back this one is super old um, but I'm going to leave it linked down below. I think you could still get that one or very similar because it has like these frills which are a huge trend for 2021 so perfectly and it still gives it a bit of a retro vibe like a bit of a 70s vibe and I really really like that and then I have decided to pair this with some mules. These are the exact same one as the flats that I've just shown you but they have a little heel so they make this outfit a bit smarter, a bit more sexy, a bit more like going out for drinks kind of style and I just think that that is an outfit I would totally wear for that occasion and yeah I just feel so like confident in it I feel very like me in it I don't feel dressed up which is weird because I'm wearing heels and I don't do that a lot but I really like this one and I just think it's a gorgeous little outfit to take you through summer So I decided to pair these like brown city shorts. I just really really like them. They have a very like smart look to them and I just think they look so good and professional and they are from Zara and I bought these last autumn but they have a very very similar color like a more beigey very 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 similar um, style and probably the exact same cut of um, shorts and I will leave them linked down below because they are just almost identical but I just think overall these gold buttons always just make Zara things appear way more expensive and I just really like the look of it. I decided to pair with like this 
halter neck top. This one is like a knitted top with like a high neck, again, to give it like a really sleek look um, and then have my arms free. Uh, I just really like this one. I just think it looks really, really cool. And then I have decided to just flung over this gorgeous little tweed blazer. This one I got from Zara in one of my Zara hauls. I just love it so much. It's me to a T. Um, and I'm not really the blazer type of person, but this blazer is just my absolute favorite. And um, yeah, I really like this one. So yeah, that is the look um, that I've put together. And I wanted to go for like that full on city chic professional look. Um, so I have added my Tiffany sunglasses to really have my accessories on point. And let me show you how it just looks. I think I'm not a sunglass person, but these sunglasses are just my absolute favorite thing to wear. They look so chic. They're like this classic cat eye shade. And I just wanted some Tiffany sunglasses for so, so long. And I just think they're so special and one of a kind with like these like gold details that flung out to the sides. I really really love these and they just elevate every single outfit like I could have popped these on with every single outfit and every outfit would look expensive take for example the outfit with like the linen shirt and the denim shorts this is the most basic outfit but paired with this it just looks like a million dollars it just looks like you're yeah, coming straight from Monaco or something so I really really like these they're just my favorite thing and I have decided to pair this like with this little um, bag I don't know where to get this exact one. I bought it on holiday, but it has like this little snake detail. It just reminds me a bit of the Gucci Dionysus. I really like it, which again adds to that really expensive look. And then I have paired this with my new favorite shoes. And they are these white or like cream, I should say, um, strappy sandals from Steve Madden. And we all know when I find Steve Madden shoes, I love them. They are so comfortable. Like I know, don't know any shoe brand as comfortable as Steve Madden and when I bought my um, over the knee boots from Steve Madden they sold out everywhere and it was so sad because I couldn't link them anywhere but I just love these and I'm, I'm just so glad I found these and I can't wait to wear these um, and with this look I just wanted to have my accessories on point like to a T and that's why I decided to exchange my Fitbit for this gorgeous little watch. Um, you might remember this one, this is from Lord Green, I'm also going to leave them linked. Um, but this watch just looks so expensive and I love like the white leather strap, I just think it goes very well with the color palette of this outfit and it looks a million times better than my Fitbit, I gotta admit it. And I'm so sad that I don't wear this one every day because it just looks so expensive, but I just love the functions of the Fitbit. It's it's like a daily struggle which one to put on. Um, so yeah, but in total, if we with an outfit like this, I would never dare to wear my Fitbit. So I think this outfit in total just looks absolutely gorgeous and I'm obsessed. Okay, so next up we have a very, very girly outfit because I think we don't have enough pink in this video. And one way that I love to wear shorts is when you can't tell that they're shorts when they look like a skirt. And that, my dear friends, is a skirt. And I love these kind of things. Um, and this one I got from Zara. This one is like a pleated skirt. As you can see, um, you do have uh, like this seam in the middle, so it's shorts, but it looks like a skirt. So this one I got from Zara last year. I'm gonna try and find something very, very similar, but I love these types of things because I can wear them on the bike, I can go wear them with a picnic or when you sit down with friends like in a park, um, then it's nice to have something like shorts um, that you can just sit down in. You don't have to worry like you do with skirts, um, but that way if it looks like a skirt, you could just go full on with the girliness and that's what I did with this look. Um, I had a different skirt to show you as well which is like a suede uh, one from Zara but I think it's not in stock anymore and I just think I have shown you a few things that aren't in stock anymore already and I just didn't want to overdo it but squats are definitely one of my favorite things to wear um, and especially also in winter. In winter I have like lots of tweed squats. I love squats. Squats are amazing um, but, <laughs> but back to the outfit. So I have paired this with this gorgeous little top which is from H&M. This was super duper affordable and just has the most gorgeous just like baby pink and blue flower print on it it just looks so gorgeous you have this like 
deep neckline um, and then you have these like flowy sleeves I really like it but the highlight my friends is at the back um, because you tie this in like a little bow I think it's super super cute I have my bra strap right now but normally I wouldn't wear my bra or I would um, just wear it deeper and make it disappear um, behind the knot um, but that's totally up to you what you want to do but I just love this outfit it's so cute and feminine and I have kept my um, Steve Madden shoes on just because I think um, they look so flattering and girly and I forgot to mention earlier that when it comes to pairing shorts I think it's really important that you always try to elongate your legs because I feel like shorts are a bit masculine and you want to make your legs look very feminine so you elongate them so you kind of balance it out and that's what I did with these. Um, same goes for the like flat slides and the mules that I showed you. They don't even have like a strip. Um, that goes around your ankles and that way it's just elongating your leg even more or you're wearing the white shoes from the beginning that works a lot as well but generally try to keep very feminine shoes that will like always look the best um, again I've kept this little watch on just because I think it looks so cute and fabulous and it's just a very tonal outfit so I decided we need a pink bag with this one and I chose my Ted Baker bag just because I think it's so cute, it's so girly and just blends in so so well and you could also wear this like crossbody and have it like that um, but yeah I really really like this outfit and this is one of the outfits that I would always wear out on a date night because I want to look feminine and girly on a date night and I think this is just the perfect way to do it. Plus, it's so breathable because you have the back free, you have very breathable arms, you have this like gorgeous little short skirt which is super super breathable as well. Plus, it's that kind of material that doesn't crease, so really what more could you ask for? One place we definitely cannot forget to wear our shorts to is the beach because where else can we wear shorts as beautifully as on the beach and that's why I wanted to include a beach outfit as well because I just think it's the most flattering thing to wear on the beach it's like so easy you can just pop it on and off if you um, for example want to go to the restaurant get a meal for dinner or something or you know you just want to grab a coffee or something then you kind of need things you can throw on or if you're just going to the beach and you um, need something to wear on top of your bikini then this is the perfect outfit um, so the shorts are from Hollister and I got these last year but they are still in stock I checked and I could have ordered them as well this season but you know where's the point so I'm just wearing mine um, but I absolutely love these because they again have this like um, paperback detailing but they're like all elasticated so you can just easily pop them on and off and then they also have these like blue stripes which remind me of the ocean it's like it's just a perfect combination it looks a bit like um how do you call that uh that kind of tailor no maritime like everything that's inspired by the sea I'm gonna pop it right here, I can't remember the name now, but that's a huge trend for 2021, so definitely the perfect outfit. I've decided to just wear like a white shirt with it, this is like one of the most basic shirts um, that I could find in my closet, and I got this one from Zara, I think it's also, oh, but literally this is a white basic shirt, so please don't hate me um, for showing things that maybe aren't available right now, but I think something like this is something that all of you have in their closets. And then I have decided to pair this with some wicker accessories again. So the shoes you already know from the beginning, um, they are just like my go-to shoes. These are the kind of shoes that I would wear to the beach because I do not like flip-flops. But these won't go on and off just as easily um, or you could wear the slides. That's up to you. But I really like it like that. I like the white matching. I just like it to be all white and bright. So yeah, I really like this one. And then I've paired this with this gorgeous bag, which is again another wicker basket bag. I do have a lot of these. Um, and this one has like this white crochet going on um, and these like pom-poms. Now I'm not sure about the pom-poms anymore, <laughs> but the rest of the bag is still thing. It looks so elegant and chic. It has shorter handles which I think is perfect for the beach because if you have these long handles and it's like a heavy bag um, with all your towels and it's always gonna get sand in you're always gonna drag it with you and I just think this one is much easier to carry um, at least for the beach maybe not for going grocery shopping but yeah if you have a towel in here that's like perfect and 
I just love this outfit. And then to make this a bit more expensive, a bit more luxurious and not too floppy, I've added my Tiffany sunglasses again. I just love these. They're the best sunglasses ever. Like, just look at this. This outfit would not look half as good without these sunglasses. It's just, it just makes every single outfit. And I, I just love these. I'm so glad I got these. And they're like, if you're looking for one pair of sunglasses, these classic Tiffany ones are definitely something you should get. I'm gonna leave these linked down below as well. But yeah, that's my outfit. Okay, one thing I was really debating with myself was whether or not to include jumpsuits because it's technically cheating and if I do open like the door of jumpsuits, there are so, so many more outfits that I could have shown you. So I decided not to, but now that I've filmed everything in the end, I decided, you know what? Shorts are for summer and so are jumpsuits and, you know, shorts are for those days where you really sometimes don't want to make the effort of putting on a lovely, like, little dress or some, like, gorgeous skirts. And jumpsuits are just the kind of things that I throw on on a beach day when I go for a bike ride or when I go for groceries. It's like basically everything and every occasion that I've just described earlier. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to show you one jumpsuit just to give you an idea of it and then that'll be it. So the jumpsuit that I have chosen to show you is this gorgeous white linen jumpsuit from Hollister and I've shown this to you in my Hollister haul and I, I've seen that a few of you um, really like this one so I decided to bring it back because I just think it's a more classic and timeless thing. Um, it has the most adorable little ruffles on the sleeves um, and then these like toto shop buttons um, with like a corset style um, bodice, but it's not a corset, like it's, it's really, really comfortable. And then these like shorts that are really nice and white and you have pockets. I just think it's a very, very simple, no-brainer outfit, but I gotta admit it doesn't look that chic. So I've totally glammed this one up. First of all, I've paired it with some heels. Um, I've brought back the wedges. I just think the white complements each other really, really well and it makes your legs look a bit more tanned um, because I'm totally pale right now <laughs> as I'm filming this. So yeah, I also have this like little um, wicker bag. I just chose to go for a like smaller, daintier one just to make it more of a chic look. And again, I have added a Tiffany sunglasses because I needed something to make this outfit look fabulous. And these sunglasses just do. Um, I can't imagine the day that I won't love these. I'm so glad I got these. They were literally the best purchase I ever made. Because yes, they are expensive, but if you have these like one pair of sunglasses, they will elevate all of your summer outfits. And even if we're slowly transitioning into autumn and you're wearing the sunglasses when the sun is really low, maybe pop it on with a Burberry scarf or a red coat and it will look absolutely gorgeous. But let's just stick with summer outfits and these sunglasses. And I just absolutely love them. Perfect. It's a perfect outfit. I absolutely love it. And yeah, that's the last look from me today. So guys, that was everything. These were my top outfits that I personally wear whenever I have or want to wear shorts. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, let me know which outfit was your favorite and if you personally like to wear shorts. And then I'm just gonna say thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.